One theory of language acquisition suggests that there is a universal set of rules or processes that human beings apply to language. And as they begin to acquire language, they learn to suppress the rules that don't apply to their language, the rules that they're not supposed to use um, in their language. This ties into speech pathology because some of these um, processes can be applied incorrectly to other words or can um, persist uh, beyond a typical developmental range uh, when children do this. So, for example, children typically uh, will vocalize certain sounds, which is that they turn consonants into vowels. So, um, like saying um, full instead of full, um, it might go along with gliding, where someone would say, uh, will we? instead of really. Um, and these are typical for children. However, if it were to persist until um, the child is much older, then it becomes uh, a phonological disorder uh, because it has not been suppressed. Um, the child has not recognized that this is not applicable to those words and suppressed that process. And so the reason why we say they're suppressing the process is because this theory says that these rules are universal and they apply to all human children who learn to um, eliminate them as they acquire language.